a gentleman who has proved himself in world competition to be the very best of the best. He is a four-time and current defending world freestyle aerobatic champion. He has launched from our right and is about to circle in to show you some of the most creative aerobatic flying in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, from the right, let's welcome from Nashua, New Hampshire, Rob Holland. Oh, that's going to hurt. Up to the vertical. A quick aileron, three quarters to the left. Watch this airplane tear the sky. completely obsessed by aviation. With the outside tumble, he goes into a combination of a knife edge spin and an inverted flat spin, recovers just 10 feet above the ground. Now being forced into a seat of some 10 plus times the force of gravity, he does the snap rolls on the upline and now turns it into a torque roll. And he'll roll out of it to the right-hand side of the aerobatic box. Training his altitude for much more energy, this MX aircraft is one of the most agile aircraft that has ever been built. And it is this airplane in which Rob Holland won those four titles as world freestyle aerobatic champion. At a young age, his dad took him to an air show where he saw an airplane flying upside down and he knew that that was what he had to do. He's been flying since the age of 18 and has accrued almost 15,000 hours of flight time. This is a flat spin. Two turns, then goes right back down through his own smoke, threading the needle on the deck. Watch the nose come up. He's, that's the slider. Snap roll back into the slider. And then backs it up in a torque roll with a whirlwind propeller allowing him to hang the airplane on that prop and back up. 
Knife edge to knife edge descent. Now upright. Extending to the right side of the box. Not only is Rob Holland the four-time winner of the World Freestyle Aerobatic Championships as he slides sideways through the air. Watch this maneuver as he does the Cobra. Ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls in Jacksonville, let's hear it from Rob Holland from Nassau. Now he's going to cool things off a little bit and we're going to take an opportunity to talk to Rob Holland in the cockpit of the MX-2 and Rob Holland, you've got a great sky and it looks like it's treating you fairly today. Rob uh, Ryder, we have an amazing sky. We have an amazing crowd. What an honor to be back here at City of Jacksonville. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to ask you, call me, do me a favor. When you see a military man or woman in uniform, or a veteran, I want you to walk up to them, look them in the eyes, shake their hands, and say thank you. Join this service, sacrifice, great dedication. Gives each and every one of us the freedoms we cherish so much. And from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to dedicate this heart to each and every one of them. I hope you get a picture of that. Rob, it is perfect. What's coming up next? Now, high and to the right, almost 4,000 feet above the ground. Rob Holland's dad's going to join me up here on the stage. He is a proud papa. Four-time world aerobatic and defending freestyle champion and set a record of eight consecutive wins as a U.S. national unlimited aerobatic champion. A world record, a record set by the late Leo Loudenslocker at seven. Nobody believed that anybody could do it any more than that. And yet Rob Holland has done it. Watch the airplane as it comes down in a spin series. The airplane is falling at some 4,000 feet per minute. A snap rolling spin and a quick recovery. In 2012, Rob Holland was awarded by the International Council of Air Shows the highest performer award in the air show industry, the Art Scholl Memorial Showmanship Award, as he does a quadruple knife edge temple. How do you like this guy, Jax? weighs in at a mere 1,161 pounds with fuel and Rob in it under 1,600 pounds. And look at this precision with the aileron rolls a snap roll and a half to the inverted. Pushes to the outside. Negative G's trying to toss him out of the cockpit as he goes across the top and does the tail for nose, nose for tail, and where it stops, only Rob Holland knows. He wants to thank Champion Aerospace, Tubro Aviation, MG Avionics, Gulf Coast Avionics, Sky Dynamics, Whirlwind Propellers, Bonehead Composites, and MX Aircraft, and also the eyewear worn by our air boss, by me, and by Rob Holland, Shaden Precision Eyewear. Check out Shaden.com, S-C-H-E-Y-D-E-N.com, for the greatest sunglasses in the world, even lenses for sports fishermen. On the right, there's a 9 or 10 G pull. Quarter rolls. He'll come to us about 70 miles an hour and does the frisbee tumble. That's next on the line. With an inverted recovery and getting the roll rate going. The roll rate of this airplane exceeds 500 degrees per second. That would make most of us puke right there in the airplane. Gentlemen, I presume. 
present to you the four-time defending world freestyle aerobatic champion from Nashua, New Hampshire. Give it up for Rob Collins. Phones up, let's get some video of this as Rob Holland comes by, setting up for the knife edge pass. He will put the airplane up on one wing. The wings will not be generating any lift at all. It'll be the skill of the pilot, the power of the motor, and the vertical stabilizer providing the lift to make the knife edge pass possible. There's the top end, there's the bottom. He's going to go into another flat spin to lose some altitude so he can land here. So he pulls back on the stick, shoves hard left rudder, puts it into this flat spin. He's falling at 3,000 feet a minute. Another turn or so, and he'll line up on the runway. But don't stop recording yet, because once he gets down, he may show you a wrinkle to a landing that will be very, very unique indeed. Touchdown and back up, and he rolls it. There he goes. Thank you, Rob Holland.